from across the nation. America's beer distributors, uniting for the 78th Annual Convention and Trade Show in Las Vegas, Nevada. Welcome to NBWA TV's first day coverage. Welcome to Las Vegas in NBWA's 78th Annual Convention and Trade Show. We got a great meeting in store for you and I look forward to seeing you for a cold beer. Thanks, Craig. I'm Andy Field. And I'm Loretta Cooper. And we will be your eyes and ears for the next few days, showing you around the convention floor and introducing you to your fellow association members. Now, this convention, of course, is all about you, the beer distribution industry. We are here to inform, perhaps even entertain, and to serve you. So if you see us around the convention floor... Come by, say hello, bring us a cold beer, and tell us a story. We work for you. You're watching day one of NBWA TV's 2015 convention coverage. And there's going to be an awful lot going on around the trade show floor. How do you find the vendor you want to visit or the beer you want to taste? Those are questions Michael Shalasi can answer. I'm Michael Shalasi. If you want to stay up to date with what's going on on this year's convention, go to your app store, download the NBWA 2015 convention app. It's free, it's simple, and it'll keep you going all through the convention. With over 4,000 beer suppliers, building brands and relationships is the key to getting your brand to market. NBWA's Dean Hovell explains. Craft brewers are an American success story. Brands are clamoring for shelf space or tap handles, but what's fueling the boom? Innovative and quality products, eager and excited consumers, and partnerships with independent beer distributors. Take Trim Tab Brewing in Birmingham, Alabama. Trim Tab Brewing Company began with an idea, really. It's a Trim Tab is the small rudder on the larger rudder of a ship. And it's a metaphor for something much larger. It takes no effort to move the little Trim Tab. That's what moves the rudder. That's what steers the ship. So it's the small source of big change. And what a beautiful message to spread and with craft beer. Really, the whole process began with choosing our distributor. We knew we were going to have the cold storage. We knew we were going to have the, the, the human resources, the logistical capacity. So though we could have made the beer, though we could have said the message, it would have not been in as many hands on top of people's minds. We just would be nowhere near we would be if we didn't have the right partner and the right distributor. That right distributor for TrimTab was Supreme Beverage Company and its craft beer team. We've built a craft team here at Supreme Beverage. I really think that that shows that we're really invested in, um, in our craft breweries. We know that this is the trends of the beer business right now and we want to be the best partners that we can. Along with a dedicated craft team comes the rest of the business. The specialized warehouse to store massive quantities of beer, the personnel to move it, the drivers to deliver it, and new technologies to track it all. But most importantly, we're able to use the sales team that we have in different markets to get out and leverage and use the relationships that they've been building for years and years in order to help build brands. Distributors are the feet on the street. Marketing brands, building brands, getting them to new markets and local retailers like Hop City Craft Beer and Wine. The distributor plays a huge role in everything that we do. The biggest reason being is they handle all of the relationships with the suppliers that we can't necessarily do on our own. There's no way, we, we carry over a thousand different breweries here. There's no way I could manage a thousand different, different relationships with a thousand different breweries. We depend on the distributor to manage those relationships for us as well as bring the product to us and that makes things a lot easier for us. Delivering product and managing personal relationships after all, the beer business is a people business. The people that we meet with on a weekly basis are way more than business partners. They're, they're, they've honestly become deep friends of me and of the company. We absolutely would want to have this relationship because it's made our brand more prevalent, it's made our brand more relevant, and the beer and our message has been stronger. At the end of the day, that's what you want. At the end of the day, one more reason to raise a glass to building relationships. I'm Mike Gretz, I'm chairman of the NBWA PAC for 2015 and I welcome you to Las Vegas for our convention. I'm proud to announce the first time ever 
The NBWA PAC has reached a milestone of $2 million by convention time. Congratulations and thank you to all those that made that happen. For those of you who have not contributed yet, I encourage you, stop by the PAC Lounge where we can talk about the issues that affect our industry and how we can ad advocate and educate our legislators and how you can be a part of protecting our future. I'll see you in the PAC Lounge. Thanks very much. For the past three years, the Center for Alcohol Policy has honored regulators who educate everyone, from the people who make, distribute, and serve alcohol, to the officers and judges who enforce the law. Andy Field tells us this year's outstanding legal educators cover an entire state with just two people. It is the nation's fourth largest state. Just a million people live here in Montana, many who enjoy social drinking. Lisa Skates and Casey Collins help teach the industry and law enforcement to make sure they do it responsibly. It's really preventative medicine. We have a very strong alcohol culture in Montana and that's not always easy to deal with, but we're willing to put ourselves out there and try different things because we know it's important. What Lisa's done works so well, the Center for Alcohol Policy has honored her two-person department with the Leadership in Alcohol Regulation Award. Our main goal is that people are drinking responsibly. We are in no way wanting prohibition or um, looking for to take away businesses or jobs. We just want people to be responsible and to be educated. Casey and Lisa rely on a volunteer teaching network to reach across their vast state, creatively ensuring everyone knows the law, just a two-person, full-time team. One of the problems that so many regulators face is they do not have the resources available to address the needs of all the communities in the states. Uh, these ladies get it, they understand that education matters, and the better educated our citizenry is, our regulators, our public officials are, the better the system works. Montana's liquor education team, helping ensure distillers, brewers, distributors, retailers, police, and judges know the law, and help Montana residents drink responsibly. You know, it's important for your congressional representatives to recognize what you do for a living and understand that beer distributors have a unique impact on their local economies. While many distributors have hosted congressional representatives in their warehouse, many came to Washington, D.C. this spring to visit their federal representatives and build those vital relationships. NBWA's Dean Hovell explains. What happens on Capitol Hill doesn't stay on Capitol Hill. It affects you and your business at home. Cherie Southward has been coming to Washington for years and knows the ongoing relationship is working. He knows my name and my face, and um, he understands how beer distributors work and about the three-tier system. Thank you. Thank you. That just kind of proves to you that it's so important for us to get up here and talk to everyone. MBWA's membership is extremely well-regarded and well-liked um, among Capitol Hill staff and members. Over the last four years, more than 170 new members of Congress have come to Washington, D.C. That is a lot of House and Senate members that need an education on the business of beer distribution and the importance of state-based alcohol regulation. Some new members of Congress are old friends to beer distributors. We have a new U.S. Senator here. We're very proud of her, Joni Ernst. Uh, she just came in this year and she's just starting and it's so wonderful to see her up here and she knows our business. She was in the state senate and now she's up here and representing us in the U.S. Senate so it's fantastic. Beer distributors operate in all 435 house congressional districts. They are active in all 50 states and having that kind of rollout for a meeting like this is what it's all about. Beer distributors from all 50 states attended the NBWA Legislative Conference and they know how important it is to keep elected leaders educated on distributor issues. And they understand why distributors need to deliver the message in person and often, both on Capitol Hill and back in their home markets. You're watching NBWA TV. NBWA has launched a new membership resource exclusively for beer distributors. It's a series of safety training videos that feature real-life scenarios for distributor employees. The video library is available 24-7 on the NBWA website 
and it's accompanied by a downloadable quiz. Employers can use the quizzes to ensure employees are getting the most out of the training. NBWA's first safety training videos focus on two areas where frequent and expensive insurance claims have plagued NBWA members, safe posture and ergonomics and distracted driving. Here's an example. Twenty-four percent of crashes in 2010 involved drivers using cell phones, including 1.1 million crashes where drivers were talking on cell phones and a minimum of 160,000 crashes where drivers were texting. Drivers who use cell phones, handheld or Bluetooth are four times as likely to get into crashes serious enough to injure themselves. It's a problem. Is it your problem? Distracted while driving, or DWD, is everyone's problem. How important is that call, text, or email? You can find this and many more tips on safe driving at nbwa.org. I'm Michael Shalasi. All our educational seminars are located on your NBWA convention app at nbwa.org and in the booklet you received your registration. Many beer wholesalers are family-owned businesses that have a profound impact on their local communities. From providing thousands of strong jobs to paying millions of dollars of taxes, the economic impact of beer wholesalers may surprise even you. Andy Field reports. This beer truck driver may not realize it, but he's helping add $54 billion to the U.S. economy. America's beer distributors creating a third of a million direct and indirect jobs. The truck drivers, the forklift drivers, the inventory specialists, definitely the sales crews who are out there promoting the new brands and getting them to market. And the number of new brews available is at an all-time high and making a difference. There's tons of opportunity out there as we have all these new breweries, probably I estimate around 800 to 1,000 new breweries have come online in the last 12 to 16 months alone. And these brewers are looking for distributors and looking for access to new markets. And they're providing their cons consumers with great, uh, great variety and choice. All that beer distribution is adding billions to the federal and local treasuries. I send a big check to my state treasury every, every month. Uh, of course, there's federal tax in that too that's taking care of the brewery level. But we do collect those taxes, and, and that, that, that's a big deal. A very big deal. Beer distributors generate more than $10 billion in federal, state, and local taxes. And that doesn't include an additional $11 billion in alcohol, excise, and consumption taxes. And the economic impact touches virtually everyone in each city and town. Those dollars are critical to those communities, too, because they are reinvested, whether it's roads or education, those dollars go back into their community. And being a beer distributor is being part of that economic engine that fuels your local economy, your state economy, and in the end, the national economy as a whole. 3,300 independent beer distributors, local businesses, delivering value to Main Street America every day. Members of Congress are always excited to talk to their beer distributors. NBWA's membership is extremely well regarded and well liked um, among Capitol Hill staff and members. That's today's show. We'll be back tomorrow bringing you the latest from NBWA's 78th convention and trade show floor. I'm Andy Field. And I'm Loretta Cooper. We'll see you tomorrow. You have been watching NBWA-TV's coverage of day one of the 78th annual convention and trade show from Las Vegas, Nevada. See you tomorrow.